Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be designing the simple mouse trailing effects with a text maxing animation right here in Figma. Please, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right there and let's begin. I have added a link to the final project in case you want to follow along. We will begin by selecting the frame tool and setting a width and height of 100. Also remove the fill of the frame. Next, select the ellipse tool and give it a width and height of 200. Change the fill color to this hex code. Select the ellipse, give it a layer blur effect and set the blur value to 280. Place the ellipse inside the frame and make sure it is vertically and horizontally aligned. You don't want the mouse effect to come in a rectangle form when we prototype. So make sure to turn off the frame's clip content. Now select the ellipse and use the shortcut Ctrl D to make a duplicate of it. Rename both copies. We want the effect to be strong in the center. So select the top ellipse and reduce the width and height by dividing it by 2. This gives you a width and height of 100. Next is to select and align vertically and horizontally. Also select the top ellipse and reduce the layer blur value by dividing by 2. Now it's time to select the frame and change it to a component. And also change the component to a variance. Select the default variant and set the property to inactive. And select the other variant and set it to active. Select the inactive variant and at the properties panel, set the opacity to 0%. Let's switch to prototype mode. Pick the inactive variant and link it to the active variant. Set the trigger to while hovering. Set the animation to smart animate and select custom with a duration of 600 milliseconds. Now select the frame tool and create a desktop frame. Setting the fill color to black. Copy the inactive variant and paste it into the frame. Align it to the left and top. to fill the whole frame with the variance 
And to do that easily, select the variant and apply Auto Layout using Shift A. In the Auto Layout Properties panel, set the spacing between items and the vertical and horizontal padding to zero. Rename the frame and select the variant inside the frame and rename it as well. Select the variant inside the frame and using Ctrl D, Duplicate it to fill the top level of the frame, horizontally. Next, select the frame and apply another auto layout, setting the spacing between items and the vertical and horizontal padding to zero. Align it to the left and top. Make sure the frame's direction is set to vertical layout. Expand frame 2 and select the auto layout frame inside. Make sure the direction is set to horizontal layout. With the Hover Me auto layout frame selected, Duplicate it using Ctrl D to fill the entire frame. Now let's preview the first part of the design. Okay, let's move on to the second part. Select the text tool and type out this text. I'm using a font called Poppins. Setting the font size to 180, changing it to extra bold, and setting the line height to 92%. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle with a width and height of 390. Align it and change the fill color to this hex code and send it behind the text. Select all and duplicate it using Ctrl D. Select the topmost text layer and set the fill color to white. Rename both ellipses to down and up respectively. Select the up ellipse and the white text layer and select use as mask. Now select all and change to a component using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt K. After that, change the component into a variant. Select and rename the variant to active and inactive respectively. Next, 
select and expand the inactive variant and holding down on the control key, select the up and down ellipse and drag it to the right. Select all the shapes and text layers of the inactive variant and set the opacity to 0%. Select the black text layer inside the active variant and change the fill to white. Also select both the up and down ellipses and set their opacity to 0%. Now let's head to prototype. Select the inactive variant and link it to the active variant. For a seamless transition, we will use the same prototype settings from our mouse trail animation. Set the trigger to while hovering, the animation to smart animates. Select custom and the duration to 600 milliseconds. Copy the inactive variant and paste it on the frame, aligning it to the center. Now let's preview. Finally, we use components, variants, and auto layouts to create a mouse trail animation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our future content. See you in the next one. Bye.